subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications here we know that types of triangle uh, we have three types of triangle a scalene triangle equilateral triangle isosceles triangle in beginning we see that uh, we find the area of a scalene triangle now here equilateral triangle equilateral triangle we have to find the area of equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle we should know that equilateral triangle means sum of all sides is equal all the three sides are equal here given us triangle a b c is our triangle in which every side is equal a b a b is equal to b c b c is equal to a c it means here a equal b b equal c every side is equal so we can now if side every side is equal then we have to find the area of triangle and perimeter also now see here if equilateral triangle given if we have provided us equilateral triangle then we have to find the side equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle here area a equal root under 3 upon 4 a square this is our formula formula of finding area of equilateral triangle finding of from using this formula we can easily find the area of our equilateral triangle here gives a equal b equal c sides of equilateral triangle here a equal b equal c means that all the sides are same so we can use anyone we can use a or b or c anyone we can use all the sides are equal of our triangle same thing also comes here if equilateral triangle given then finding the perimeter of equilateral triangle it also comes it becomes so simple here perimeter p equal 3a now using these two formula using this formula we can find the area of equilateral triangle and using this formula perimeter we can find the perimeter of this equilateral triangle on getting area and perimeter we will come to conclusion now similarly we can also see in our figure number four that is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle means here two sides are equal here given a triangle a b c is a triangle in which these two sides a and b here a b and c both is equal so it is represented by a and double line here double line given means this both side is equal so both is represented by a and lower one on uh, b lower one is given with sign b now if two sides of a triangle are given and third sign is unequal then we can then we have to find the area area to find the area of isosceles triangle some formula is changed so using next formula we will easily find see here given us area to find area of our isosceles triangle given us formula a equal b upon 4 root under 4 a square minus b square now here we can say that b is base that unknown side not not similar side not similar side and here given root under 4 a square a is our similar side this a and a is similar so this a and a is used here a square 4 a square minus b square here b square is double one so our formula of formula for finding area of isosceles triangle finding area of isosceles triangle given us here a equal root b upon 4 a equal given us b upon 4 root under 4 a square minus b square same perimeter of same triangle perimeter of this isosceles triangle now we have to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle see here to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle p equal b plus 2a here given our, our formula b plus 2a in this way getting these two formula here a formula of equilateral triangle perimeter uh, formula of equilateral triangle that is area of equilateral triangle perimeter of equilateral triangle same thing here area of isosceles triangle perimeter of isosceles triangle getting all these four formula we will uh, calculate different problem related to area and perimeter of triangle
subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications here problem problem number 235 upon a we are given us if the area of an equilateral triangle is 16 root 3 centimeter square find its perimeter here the area of an equilateral triangle is given here area of equilateral triangle is given it means equilateral triangle means every side is equal every side is equal here we can see simple simply that side a b c all the three sides are equal equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal now area of equilateral triangle given here 16 root 3 centimeter square now we have to find the perimeter of same triangle see here to find here area of an equilateral triangle is 16 root 3 centimeter square by formula we have formula we discussed ahead formula by formula we have area of triangle a equal root 3 upon 4 a square equal 16 root 3 or we get root 3 upon 4 a square equal 16 root 3 or here root 3 root 3 is cancelled comes here a square a square equal 64 here 4 into 16 comes here 64 or a equal 8 centimeter on getting the value of sides each side is 8 centimeter it means a equal b equal c every side is 8 centimeter now from on getting the sides of triangle we can also say we can easily calculate the perimeter of triangle of same triangle now we have also formula of perimeter we have perimeter formula p equal 3a here we got the value of a a equal 8 centimeter so we can write here p equal 3a 3a equal 3 into 8 centimeter equal 24 centimeter because the perimeter of triangle is 24 centimeter now here also we can see that area of equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle a equal our formula our formula is root under 3 upon 4 a square and perimeter p equal 3 a of equilateral triangle all these three sides and three angles are equal in equilateral triangle three sides and three angles all everything is equal so using these two formula a equal root under 3 upon 4 into a square this gives the value of a area from using this formula we get the value of a here a comes a equal 8 centimeter and sim similarly perimeter p equal 3a we got the value of perimeter p also we can say that using two formula using two formula area formula and perimeter formula we get here value of perimeter value of perimeter triangle perimeter of triangle is 24 centimeter subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications your next problem our 235 upon b find the area of an isosceles triangle whose equal size is 5 cm and base is 6 cm find perimeter also here given us a and isosceles triangle given us isosceles triangle we can see here simply in the figure isosceles triangle means two sides are equal this and this sides dotted with two lines this and this sides is equal from uh, simply we can know that uh, this if two sides given here length here the length of equal sides a equal 5 centimeter here length equal a equal equal sides is 5 centimeter here means this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter and length of base b equal 6 centimeter it means here base is 6 centimeter by formula using formula we can say that by formula a equal a we know from beginning that area is b upon 4 root under 4a square minus b square using this formula we will find equal our value of b value of b here 6 so from here 6 upon 4 6 upon 4 root under 4 into 5 square means a square a is Five. so comes here 5 square minus 6 b is 6 so comes here 6 square 5 square minus 6 square equal 6 upon 4 root under 5 into 5 25 25 into 4 100 100 minus 36 comes here 64 equal 6 upon 4 into 8 equal 12 centimeter square this is area of our isosceles triangle similarly 
we will also find the perimeter of same triangle. It means isosceles triangle whose equal sides is 5 cm and unequal side is that B is 6 cm. Perimeter P equal B plus 2A equal B is our 6 cm, 6 plus 2 into 5 equal 6 plus 10 equals 16 centimeter. Now we can say that required area is 12 centimeter square and perimeter is 16 centimeter. More of formula related to our geometrical shape, geometrical shape, especially plane figure. Plane figure. We can see that figure number five. Figure five given us right angle triangle. Here our given triangle is A B. C is our right angle triangle. It means here each one angle is 90 degree. One angle is 90 degree in which AB is P, P means perpendicular and BC is base. Base means is base. Now, if triangle is right angle triangle, from right angle triangle, we have to find area. Then formula is something changed. See here area of right angle, area of right angle triangle. Formula for finding the area of right angle triangle A equals half into base into P. We can say that B is base of right angle triangle and P is height of right angle triangle. Perimeter of this same right angle triangle. Perimeter. Now to find the perimeter of this right angle triangle. See here perimeter P equals P plus B plus root under P square plus B square. That given p plus b plus root under p square plus b square here p is perimeter here p is perimeter and this p a small p is height and b is base same thing here figure number six we see here figure number six parallelogram our figure is parallelogram it means opposite sides are parallel and equal given here a, B, C, D is our parallelogram in which this dotted line represent height and this A, B represent base. If in any geometrical shape, if height is given, here given our geometrical shape is parallelogram, in, to find the area of this parallelogram, we see here our new formula. Here area, area A equal base into height. B into H. B into H means B is base and H is height. We are given base A, B, base and our height is D and A. This dotted line represent height. Using these two value, base and height, we will find the area of parallelogram. To find the perimeter of parallelogram, P equal 2 into AD plus AB. This is sides. AB plus AD. Where AB and AD are sides of parallelogram. Here this and this side shall be used or this and this side shall be used. Any two sides is used. If our figure given figure is rhombus, then see here figure 7 rhombus gives Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. Crush that like button and do it now. Crush that like button and do it now. Smash that like button. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Our geometrical shape given us rhombus. Rhombus figure 7 given us rhombus. In rhombus, all sides are equal. Side A, side B, side C, and D. Every sides are equal. Here, every sides are equal, but diagonal may be unequal. Dotted line represents diagonal. A, 
C joining dotted line line joining dotted line joining A and C is diagonal D1 and dotted line joining B and D is diagonal 2. This may be unequal, but sides is always equal. Sides is always equal. In this figure, we have to find the area. Now, to find the area of any rhombus, to find the area of any rhombus, given us our formula area A equal half into D1 into D2. Here D1 represents diagonal, first diagonal, and D2 represents second diagonal. Here our diagonal is this line join, dotted line, this dotted line joining A and C is our first diagonal, and dotted line joining B and D is our second diagonal. Here to find area, we shall use size of diagonal. Here A equal half into D1 into D2. If perimeter of same rhombus shall to find the perimeter of same rhombus, P equal any rhombus or same rhombus, we can say that this figure in this figure perimeter formula P equal 4A. A is size of rhombus. Here we can say that AB equal BC, BC equal CD, CD equal AD, or we can say that simply A. A means size, all sides are equal. In this way, we can using these two formula, we can find area and perimeter. This formula gives value of area, area of rhombus, and this gives perimeter of rhombus. Now here, see figure number 8 given us quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four sides. Here given us figure A, B, C, D is our quadrilateral in whose A and C dotted line joining A and C is diagonal D and here P. P is perpendicular one. Uh, perpendicular one means perpendicular one and P2 is perpendicular two. Means height of this dotted line A and C divides this quadrilateral into two triangle, divides this into two triangle, and this P1 and P2 identify that height of first triangle and P2 defines height of second triangle. It gives height of second triangle and this gives p1 gives the height of first triangle now if all these things given d p1 and p2 if given then we can easily find the area of any quadrilateral now to find the area of quadrilateral given us formula area a equal half into d half into d in bracket p1 plus p2 here d means diagonal here dotted line joining a and c is diagonal here value of d shall be used here half into d and here p2 and p1 perpendicular distance to the diagonal here p perpendicular distance to the diagonal it means height of this triangle and height of this triangle here for p1 is per uh, perpendicular distance or height of this triangle and p2 is height of this triangle so both shall be used to find the area of quadrilateral to find the area of quadrilateral we shall use this formula half into d P1 plus P2. Same thing here, perpendicular. Perpendic here also comes not, not perpendicular, here comes perimeter. This is wrong, here comes perimeter. Same thing comes here, perimeter. The perimeter P equal AB plus BC plus CD plus D. It means sum of all sides. To find the perimeter, simply we have to make addition of all sides here, AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. Sum of all sides shall be done to find the perimeter of quadrilateral. Here, now see figure 9. In figure 9, given us trapezium. To find the area of trapezium to find the perimeter of trapezium. Here given us A, B, C, D is our trapezium. In trapezium, two sides are parallel. Here P1 and P2. It means AD is parallel to B, C. Here two sides is parallel and H is height of our trapezium. H is height of trapezium. Now, if any geometrical shape trapezium given, Geometrical shape trapezium given that to find the area of trapezium we shall use this formula. See here formula area to find the area of trapezium formula given here area 
a equal half into height p1 plus p2. Yeah, p1 plus p2, yeah, half height, that means height p1 and p2 is parallel sides of trapezium. Here, yeah, p1 and p2 is parallel sides, it means here yeah, a d is parallel to b c and it is represented by a d is represented by p1 and b c is represented by p2. That sum of p1 and p2 shall be done and height shall be half of height is taken, half into height is taken. Using this formula, we can easily find the area of trapezium. Similarly, we see here perimeter. To find the perimeter of trapezium, to find the perimeter of trapezium, P equal P1 plus P2 plus AB plus CD. Here also given us sum of all sides. Simply we can say that sum of all sides for finding perimeter of any shape. Or here given us trapezium. To find the perimeter of trapezium, sum of all sides shall be done. Here given us a D is represented by P1, so P1 plus P2. P2 is BC is P2, so given us plus P2. And next year given AB, AB as it is AB and CD. Sum of all sides shall be done. Here AB and CD is non parallel sides of trapezium, and P2 and P1 is parallel sides of trapezium. Here same thing comes in figure number. 10, figure number 10 given us arrowhead. Given us arrowhead, it means here geometrical shape given us A, B, C, D. Here, this is our figure, in arrowhead figure. If we have to find area of this arrowhead, we shall use something new formula. Here, we can see, simply say that area to find the area of arrowhead area a equal half into d1 into d2 here we shall know that d1 here dotted line joining b and d this is a straight line this is not a straight this is not a straight but this dotted line b and d d2 is dotted line so this d2 is used d2 here d2 is used this dotted line is used and next D1 is used, D1 is A and C, line joining A and C is D1 and dotted line joining B and D is D2, see? so both shall be used, both shall be multiplied and into half into D1 into D2. Now perimeter of arrowhead, here perimeter of arrowhead, P, P equal AB plus BC plus CD plus AD, it means sum of all sides is done. AB plus BC plus CD. Sum of all sides shall be done. Now our geometrical shape given us kite. Kite means here adjacent sides are equal. Likewise, we can see here AD equal AB. And same thing comes here DC equal BC here this dotted line is equal and this dotted line is equal. Now here as we can also see more line joining A and C. Line joining A and C is D1 and this dotted line joining B and D is D2. D1 and D2. Now to find the area of kite, area to find the area of kite A, A equal half into D1 into D2. Half into D1 into D2. We can say that D1 is diagonal first and D2 is diagonal second. Here we can say that line joining A and C is diagonal 1, D1, and line joining B and D is D2, here diagonal 2. Also perimeter. Now we have to find the perimeter of this kite. To find the perimeter of kite, formula given us here P equal AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. Here also given same thing, sum of all sides. Every side shall be uh, added. Here, a, B, Subscribe B, C, to my channel C, and also C, press this C, bell icon so you can get latest C, video C, notifications. Some geometrical shape. In this way, we can find the area and perimeter of any geometrical shape. Now here, if you like this video, if you like this video, 
please subscribe immediately subscribe immediately and press bell so that notification of new video shall be notification of new video shall be given and everyone every viewer shall get chance to view new video beginning of all We are given us kite to find the area of kite. Now this is our kite, and now area to find now find the area of triangle. Now the, here we shall find the area of our given triangle. From the beginning syllabus of primary level, we have uh, calculated that area of a triangle. Here area of triangle that gives a equal half into base into height. It means that now. Here, let's see here in figure number one. A, B, C is a triangle. In this triangle, as given, this is height and this A and B is base. From if given all things, if height and base is given, then we can easily find the area of triangle from our formula. From our formula, given us A equal half into base into height. In this formula, we can say that. A means area, B means base, and height means height. But if confusion given, if height is not given, base is not uh, identified, then we have we will face problem in finding area of a triangle. So in finding area of a triangle, especially for secondary level, some of the formula C here used to find the area of a triangle. Now area of triangle formula key point from beginning we can see again here figure one we are given triangle a b c in this triangle h is given height of triangle and b is base from this triangle we can easily find that area equal a equal half base into height and its perimeter perimeter means sum of all side that is p equal a b plus b c plus a c here a this a b plus b c plus AC sum of all sides gives our perimeter. Here in formula P is perimeter, AB is side, BC and AC all side. Sum of all sides gives perimeter of a triangle. Same thing also see here. Here given also in next figure ABC is next triangle. Next triangle in which uh, side and base side is given, but base and height is unidentified so in this triangle we have to calculate we have to find the area it will be problem facing so to find the area of this triangle to find the area of this triangle we have to use some new formula formula a here a gives a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c it says that here s s is semi perimeter semi perimeter equal p equal to p upon 2 equal p we know that p equal a plus b plus c or semi perimeter gives semi perimeter equal p upon 2 equal a plus b plus c upon 2 this gives our s as means semi perimeter here a b c are sides of triangle here given a is b c b is a c and c is a b in this way using this formula using this formula we can easily find the area of triangle if base and height is unknown is not given if base and height of any triangle is not given only side is given then to find the area of such triangle we will easily find that a equal s s minus a s minus b s minus c this gives area of a triangle in this way we see some of problem and its solution using this formula and we easily know that perimeter perimeter always gives the sum of all sides here p equal a plus b plus c 
subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications yes. given us question 233 upon a given here find the area of triangle given in adjoining figure adjoining figure this is our adjoining figure in this given here a b c is a triangle in which sides are 18 centimeter 15 centimeter and 12 centimeter from this triangle we have to find the area to find area c beginning we have discussed about the formula given here sides are a b a b is equal to 15 centimeter a c 12 centimeter and equal b and c b equal 18 centimeter by formula we know that by formula we know that s s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 or we can also say that a b plus a c plus c b upon 2 here comes equal 15 plus 2 bell plus 18 upon 2 equal comes here 22.5 centimeter after getting the value of s we have to apply formula here uh, area of triangle given here area of triangle triangle abc equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c equal here we get the value of s here we get the value of s here 22.5 centimeter and side is already given here 18 15 and 2 bell so we shall use this all the value of sides in formula using this value of s semi perimeter we can also show that semi perimeter gives here in place of s we shall put 22.5 22.5 minus 22.5 minus 18 centimeter 22.5 minus 12 centimeter second side and 22.5 minus 15 centimeter third side in this way once applying this we can easily calculate now equal root under 22.5 into 4.5 here subtraction after subtracting 18 from 22.5 comes here 4.5 here 22.5 2 value subtracted from 22.5 comes here 7.5 and here 22.5 minus 15 comes here 10.5 after multiplication of all and rooting comes here 89.29 centimeter answer it is our required area of triangle it means we can we find here area of triangle area of triangle this triangle a b c we got here 89.29 centimeter square and it is our required answer subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications we can see here more triangles more problems problem number 233 upon b given here find the area of triangle having its sides 4.5 centimeter 3.5 centimeter and 6 centimeter we can assume this in figure here given here triangle a b c in which sides given here sides comes here 4.5 centimeter 6 centimeter 3.5 centimeter now given here sides a equal 4.5 centimeter b equal 3.5 centimeter and c equal 6 centimeter we know that as s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 this is our formula and from formula we can easily calculate that's a, a a b c all sides have been given here so we can easily find the value of s here comes 4.5 plus 3.5 plus 6 all sides sum of all sides 4.5 plus 3.5 plus 6 all upon 2 comes here equal 7 centimeter now once getting the value of s we will put in next formula see here our next formula is now area of triangle a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c is our formula now putting all the value in this formula we will get the area of a triangle equal here root under our value of s value of s is 7 centimeter so here comes 7 in bracket 7 minus 4.5 7 minus 3.5 7 minus 6 here comes 7 into 2.5 into 3.5 into 1 root under equal 7.826 centimeter square the area of given triangle is 7826 centimeter square from here we can easily find the area of our triangle in which sides have been given here see here more problem next problem here 
given problem number 233 upon C. Find the area of triangle given in adjoining figure. Adjoining figure means figure. This is our figure here. A, B, C is our figure in whose sides have been given here 15 centimeter, 14 centimeter, 13 centimeter. From here, sides have been given, but height is not given. So we will find the area of this triangle. Given here, A equal 15 centimeter, B equal 14 centimeter, and C equal 13 centimeter. So from formula, by formula, we know that uh, we have formula, formula of S as means semi-perimeter. Semi-perimeter semi equal A plus B plus C upon 2. Here comes equal 15 plus 14 plus 13 upon 2 equal 42 upon 2 equal 21 centimeter. Value of S is 21 centimeter. It means semi-perimeter is 21 centimeter. Now using this value of S in our next formula, we will get the area of triangle. By formula, area of triangle a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c using value of s in this formula and all the sides will get the value of triangle area of triangle equal value of s is 21 centimeter we got already here value of s is 21 centimeter and next is 21 minus 15 side a 21 minus 14 side b 21 minus 13 side c centimeter squared equal here 21 into 6 into 7 into 8 here after subtracting 15 14 and 13 we get here 6 7 8 now multiplication of all gives here 84 centimeter square so, so we can say that area of our given triangle is 84 centimeter square it means area of this triangle a b and c triangle this triangle area of this triangle we got value 84 centimeter square Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. Yeah, problem number 234 upon A. Given here question, a triangular field having length of sides are 42 meter, 34 meter and 20 meter respectively. Find the area of the field. Now we can uh, construct simple uh, figure, simple plane figure C here. Triangle A, B, C. We constructed here. Now value given here 42 meter, 34 meter, 20 meter. So we can place here 42 meter, 34 meter and 20 meter. Now assuming this triangle we will calculate the area of our field. So see here, here given the sides of a field are A equal 42 meter, B equal 34 meter and C equal 20 meter. So S equal A plus B plus C upon 2. This is our semi perimeter. Semi perimeter means S. S equal A plus B plus C upon 2. Equal 42 meter plus 34 meter plus 20 meter upon 2. Whole upon 2. Equal 48 meter. It means our semi perimeter value of S is equal 48 meter. By formula A. By formula, we have formula, we know that our formula is a formula A, A equal root under S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Here, subtracting all the sides from value of S. The value of S is 48 meter, comes here, equal root under 48, in bracket 48 minus 42, 48 minus 34, 48 minus 20 meter square root under, equal 48 into 6 into 14 into 28 this comes after subtracting 42 34 and 20 so comes here 48 into root under root under 48 into 6 into 14 into 28 meter square equal 336 meter square it means 336 meter square now we can easily say that the area of triangular field is 336 meter square or 336 meter square now the area of triangular field is 336 meter square. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. Now question number 234 upon B. If the length of sides of our triangular field are 41 meter, 40 meter and 9 meter. Calculate the area of field. Now here also given same thing that we have to calculate the area of triangular field. Now 
length of uh, length or length or sides sides of a field given here uh, sides of a field of a triangular field given here equal a equal 41 meter b equal 40 meter c equal 9 meter now if sides have been given from using formula using different formula we can easily find the area of field see here semi perimeter semi perimeter is represented by s s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 equal 41 upon 40 plus 9 upon 2 equal 45 meter now value of s is 45 meter it means semi perimeter is 45 meter now using formula by formula area of triangular field a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c meter square equal 45 45 minus 41 meter 45 minus 40 45 minus 9 meter square equal 45 into 4 into 5 into 36 Please well, like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. Crush that like button and do it now. Crush that like button and do it now. Smash that like button. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. If you like what you see, like and subscribe right now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe right away. Like and subscribe.